the News Talk ZB Newsroom. This is News Fix. In this update, the Prime Minister's hoping his high ranking business delegation will kick the door open for greater levels of trade with Japan. Chris Luxon's Tokyo bound this morning with a host of CEOs and board chairs, including Dame Therese Walsh, ANZ boss Antonia Watson, and Rocket Lab's Peter Beck. Speaking ahead of the trip, Luxon said the calibre of the delegation will open doors. We've curated that list very strongly to people who can and can't come um, because we really want the business community to convert opportunities, not just do relational building. The Labour leader will address Lower North Island supporters this morning in the last of the party's regional conferences. Hipkins has had some good news this week, with the latest taxpayer union-funded Curia poll showing he surpassed the Prime Minister in favourability. Senior political reporter Sophie Trigger with more. It's the last stop on Chris Hipkins' regional tour, but his first major speech post-budget, and he'll likely take the chance to attack the government on its priorities and values. And addressing a lower North Island crowd, he's also expected to highlight the impact of public sector cuts to the region that's borne the brunt of them. And the speech kicks off later this morning in Porirua. Kate, the Princess of Wales, has waved to crowds and smiled from the balcony of Buckingham Palace, marking her first public appearance this year as she undergoes treatment for cancer. The Princess was watching the Trooping the Colour to mark the official birthday of King Charles. Industrial action means Auckland's train operator doesn't know when and what trains will be operating today. Trains have been running at a reduced timetable for more than a week due to a breakdown in collective bargaining discussions. Rail buses will operate all day today as a precaution. And that's news. I'm Donna Marie Lever. To sport, Melbourne's NRL dominance over the Warriors has stretched to 16 straight wins over 3,262 days and counting following a 38-24 win at Mount Smart. The Chiefs have defied the rankings and form book to beat the Hurricanes 13-19 in their Super Rugby semi-final in Wellington and will now meet the Blues in next weekend's final at Eden Park. Success for both of the New Zealand men's rowing pairs at the latest World Cup meet in Poland. The top-ranked duo of Daniel Williamson and Philip Wilson and the reserve pairing of Campbell Crouch and Benjamin Taylor have won their respective repercharge races and will meet in tonight's A-final with Olympic selection on the line. And in Euro 2024, Switzerland has beaten Hungary 3-1 and three-time winner Spain has crushed Croatia 3-0. Italy's contest against Albania has just kicked off, and that's sport. For more news, listen to News Talk ZB live on iHeartRadio.